Welcome to this edition of FDA's Tobacco Compliance Webinars, Information and Education for Tobacco Importers and Entry Filers, sponsored by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration and its Center for Tobacco Products, Office of Compliance and Enforcement, Division of Enforcement and Manufacturing. In this webinar, we will cover some important updates and reminders about filing electronic nicotine delivery systems, or ENDS, entries in the Automated Commercial Environment, or ACE. We will discuss the following topics. Know the product being imported. In this section, we will take a look at the definition of a tobacco product and go over examples of tobacco products. Products that meet the definition of a tobacco product are regulated by FDA. Electronic Nicotine Delivery System, or ENDS. In this section, we will take a deeper look at ENDS products. Specifically, we will cover some examples of ENDS products, discuss the pre-market authorization requirements for ENDS products, and current FDA enforcement priorities for ENDS products. Information needed for entry submission. In this section, we will review information needed for submission of ENDS products. Additional resources. And finally, we will take a look at various resources available to you, including website links, definitions, and examples of ENDS products. How to contact us? We will conclude this presentation by providing our contact information. Let's go ahead and get started with knowing the product that is being imported into the U.S. Section 201RR of the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act, or FD&C Act, defines tobacco product as any product made or derived from tobacco or containing nicotine from any source that is intended for human consumption, including any component, part, or accessory of a tobacco product, except for raw materials other than tobacco used in manufacturing a component, part, or accessory of a tobacco product. New legislation enacted on March 15, 2022, makes clear that FDA can regulate tobacco products containing nicotine from any source. This law took effect April 14, 2022. As of April 14, 2022, importers of tobacco products containing non-tobacco nicotine, NTN, that is, nicotine not made or derived from tobacco, such as synthetic nicotine, must ensure compliance with applicable requirements under the Federal Food, Drug, and Cosmetic Act resulting from this law. The definition of a component or part is any software or assembly of materials intended or reasonably expected, one, to alter or affect the tobacco product's performance, composition, constituents, or characteristics, or two, to be used with or for the human consumption of a tobacco product. The definition of an accessory is any product that is intended or reasonably expected to be used with or for the human consumption of a tobacco product, does not contain tobacco, and is not made or derived from tobacco, and meets either of the following. 1. Is not intended or or reasonably expected to affect or alter the performance, composition, constituents, or characteristics of a tobacco product, or, two, is intended or reasonably expected to affect or maintain the performance, composition, constituents, or characteristics of a tobacco product, but solely controls moisture and or temperature of a stored product, or solely provides an external heat source to initiate but not maintain combustion of a tobacco product. The Tobacco Control Act, enacted on June 22, 2009, amended the FDNC Act and provided FDA with the authority to regulate tobacco products. Cigarettes, cigarette tobacco, Roll Your Own, or RYO tobacco, and Smokeless tobacco were immediately subject to FDA's Tobacco Product Authority. 
As for other types of tobacco products, Section 901B of the FD&C Act grants FDA authority to deem those products subject to the law as well. The final deeming rule, published on May 10, 2016, deemed all products that meet the definition of a tobacco product, including components and parts, except accessories of those deemed products, subject to FDA's tobacco product authorities. This includes products such as electronic nicotine delivery systems, or ENDS, cigars, water pipe tobacco, also called hookah tobacco, pipe tobacco, nicotine delivery products like dissolvables, lozenges, gum, gel, and other future products that meet the tobacco product definition. As a reminder, as of April 14, 2022, these examples can also include non-tobacco nicotine products. We will talk more about ENDS products in the next couple slides. Please be aware that FDA does regulate accessories of originally regulated tobacco products, cigarettes, cigarette tobacco, roll your own, and smokeless. Examples of accessories for originally regulated tobacco products are a lighter or ashtray. However, we currently do not regulate accessories of deemed products, ends, cigars, hookah tobacco, etc. Examples of accessories for deemed products are pipe carrying case or tongs for hookah. Next, we will review electronic nicotine delivery systems, also referred to as ENDS products. ENDS are non-combustible tobacco products. These products use an e-liquid that may contain nicotine, as well as varying compositions of flavorings, propylene glycol, vegetable glycerin, and other ingredients. The liquid is heated to create an aerosol that the user inhales. ENDS include devices such as vapes, vaporizers, vape pens, hookah pens, electronic cigarettes, e-cigarettes or e-cigs, and e-pipes. ENDS also include components and or parts such as e-liquids, cartridges, atomizers, and batteries. We will take a look at ENDS product codes for entry submission in a few slides. Additionally, there are examples of ENDS products under the Additional Resources section of this presentation, which we will get to later. All new tobacco products, including new ENDS products, require FDA market authorization orders in effect to be legally sold and or distributed to customers in the U.S. As a reminder, per Section 910 of the FD&C Act, a new tobacco product is any product not commercially marketed in the United States as of February 15, 2007, or the modification of a tobacco product where the modified product was commercially marketed in the U.S. after February 15, 2007. Per court order, marketing applications for deemed new tobacco products, including ENDS, were due to FDA by September 9, 2020. Products on the market as of February 15, 2007 are considered pre-existing, formerly known as grandfathered tobacco products. A pre-existing tobacco product is not a new tobacco product and does not require an application. To date, no valid grandfathered ENDS product has been identified, and all pre-market applications for ENDS products received by the FDA have been through the PMTA pathway. As a reminder, unauthorized new tobacco products, including ENDS products, offered for import into the U.S., are subject to detention and refusal. At this time, FDA is focusing on enforcement of the requirements of Section 910 as to finished tobacco products. A finished tobacco product refers to a tobacco product including all components and parts sealed in final packaging intended for consumer use. Next, we will cover FDA's current enforcement priorities. ENDS products remain a high priority for FDA enforcement. 
In response to the epidemic levels of youth use of e-cigarettes and the popularity of certain products among children, the FDA has prioritized enforcement against the following types of ENDS products that lack marketing authorization: flavored, cartridge-based ENDS other than tobacco or menthol, ENDS without adequate measures to prevent minors' access. Ends targeted to minors. Certain ends offered for sale in the United States after September 9, 2020. For example, products for which no application is pending, including those with a marketing denial order, and those for which no application was submitted, are currently among our highest enforcement priorities. For more information, please refer to the FDA's guidance titled "Enforcement Priorities for Electronic Nicotine Delivery Systems (ENDS) and Other Deemed Products on the Market Without Pre-Market Authorization." Please be aware that FDA still regulates and can take enforcement action against any ENDS product without the required FDA marketing authorization in effect, regardless of whether or not the ENDS product is indicated for priority enforcement. It is imperative that importers provide complete and accurate product information regarding pre-market authorization to the filer when submitting an entry. Failure to provide this information can cause delays in the entry review process. We will take a look at what ACE data elements are available when filing an ENDS product in the coming slides. ACE is the system through which the trade community reports imports and exports, and the government determines admissibility. Next, we will cover the information needed to submit a tobacco entry to FDA. First, we will identify the program code, which is TOB for tobacco commodities. Next will be the processing code, and this will be determined by the commodity subtype. There are three options for the subtype. Consumer use (CSU) for further manufacturing (FFM), investigational (INV). It is important to know what is being imported or offered for import in order to determine the program and subtype processing codes. Next, we will identify the FDA product code. The product code is mandatory for tobacco products. Industry Code 98, and it is designed to tell FDA what type of product is being imported. FDA provides the product code builder tool and tutorial, which can be used to build the product code. The product code consists of the following: Industry Code. This element is two numbers from 02 to 98. An industry code determines the broadest area into which a product falls. As previously mentioned, tobacco products fall under industry code 98. Class code. This element is always alpha or numeric and is directly related to an industry. For tobacco products, it designates the category of the product. Class is more specific than an industry code. Some examples of tobacco class codes are cigars, cigarettes, ends, etc. Subclass code. This element is one letter and represents the flavor of the tobacco product offered for import. Process indicator code, or PIC. This element describes the processing code of the tobacco product. When in doubt, you may wish to contact the manufacturer for processing information. Product or group. This element is two numeric characters in length. This element relates directly to a particular industry or class combination and identifies the specific product. The FDA supplemental guide identifies industry codes associated with program and processing code combinations. This information is integral for building an accurate product code for all FDA products, including tobacco products. Next, we will take a look at the FDA product code builder. Here is an example of the FDA product code builder and the class and subclass options for industry code 98. Class will allow the filer to select the type of tobacco product. For ENDS products and their component or parts, Class L or M would be selected.
The subclass will allow the filer to identify if the product is flavored and the type of flavor. This chart shows what information is needed for specific data elements that should be transmitted to FDA. Although some fields are optional, it is highly encouraged that all elements are transmitted to improve processing time. Additionally, FDA has seen basic identifying information, such as cigarette or vape, being transmitted for brand and subbrand. These are not a brand or subbrand. They are just stating the product. An example of brand is Joe's Vape, and subbrand is Awesome Pod. It is also important to note that strength of nicotine usually comes in the following formats, percentage and weight over volume. For example, 3% or 3 milligrams over 5 milliliters. Please access the latest FDA supplemental guide for ACE for examples of how to transmit quantity, unit of measure codes applicable to FDA TOB message sets, and valid base units applicable to FDA TOB message sets. We will now review intended use codes. This table identifies the intended use codes applicable to tobacco products. If the government agency program code is tobacco, that is, TOB, and the government agency processing code is investigational, that is, INV, then one of the 180 base code intended use codes must be supplied. The substantially equivalent, or SE, pre-market tobacco application, or PMT, or exemption from substantial equivalence, or EXE, are indicators that must be selected in order to enter the Tobacco Submission Tracking, or TST. The TST number is issued by FDA CTP to identify pre-market applications for tobacco products. The TST may also be known as the Submission Tracking Number, or STN, and should be included in the TST field. As of now, including the TST is optional, but it is strongly suggested that this be provided, when available, in order to facilitate timely review of a tobacco entry. There will be an ACE enhancement in the future that requires the TST for ENDS products. In order to facilitate compliant trade, filers should start transmitting this affirmation of compliance as soon as possible. The following origin and arrival data elements are mandatory. It is important to note that if the item has been refused by another country, it is recommended that you transmit the country of refusal element. Providing correct and accurate information leads to more efficient processing and system-based releases. Here is an ENDS product data set example. When information is provided clearly and accurately, it greatly helps FDA in the review process. We would like to specifically highlight data elements PG07, PG10, PG23, and PG26. As we saw in this webinar, it is important for you to know the product being imported into the U.S. and its associated requirements, understand the data elements for transmitting ENDS products, and to provide correct and accurate information to FDA. It is important that importers provide their customs brokers the information they need to transmit your ENDS product, and it is important that filers work to obtain all necessary ENDS information from the importer and other responsible parties. FDA will not be able to process an entry without the required information we just discussed. As a reminder, FDA's goal is to facilitate compliant trade. Customs brokers can help expedite FDA review of your imported product by initially providing accurate and complete information and by responding quickly to requests from FDA for additional documents or information. We will now review some additional resources that provide more information relevant to the topics covered in this webinar. Included on this slide are several useful definitions to terms we discussed earlier in the webinar.
This slide also contains some helpful definitions to terms we discussed earlier in the presentation. Included on this slide are links to several useful web resources. As previously mentioned, here are examples of various ENDS products. Here are more examples of various ENDS products. Here are examples of ENDS components and parts. And here is an example of a bottle of e-liquid. Lastly, we'd like to provide you our contact information. If you have any ACE-related questions, email us at ACE underscore support at FDA.HHS.gov. For general imports questions, email us at FDA Imports Inquiry at FDA.HHS.gov. And for general tobacco-related questions, email us at askctp at fda.hhs.gov. This brings us to the close of this webinar, brought to you by the FDA's Center for Tobacco Products, protecting our kids and the nation's health from tobacco. Thank you.